look at my new toy. I'm so excited. I was looking for a smaller pressure washer based on my theory that if I had a smaller one that was easier to use, I would use it more often than the big gas powered one. Let's see what the Sun Gel pressure washer is all about. It actually ended up easier to put together than I expected, except for the screws. I just don't do well with screws, but you'll see. Now the main component, different dispensers, hose, the part that holds your cleaning fluids, a nozzle, a wand, and a wobbly glue. Let's get the directions out, see what to do with this thing. Screws. Screws and I just don't get along. This is going to be troublesome. I like this. Three different owner's manuals in three different languages. So I can deal with the one that works for me. I've placed the pieces in the order I think that I'll be able to use them. The first thing is to slide the trigger gun holder into position. Figure two. So I'm assuming it's something in here. these plastic pieces this one looks like that so I'm gonna slide it in and secure it with four large screws oh I hate doing screws because they never go in the way that I want them to or the way they're supposed to the instructions do not tell you this but you're going to need a long handle Phillips screwdriver or two of the screws the short handle one will do for the two outside screws so, I think it's supposed to be facing me. This is supposed to go like this, I think. Looks right. Slide the handle into position and secure it with four large screws. Look at the box, Kim. This part proved troublesome. It just never felt like it really clicked into place and it didn't appear to be lining up right. Doesn't feel like it's in. It does not want to go in very well. It finally went in. I knew that this needed to be lined up here. Now four screws are supposed to go in here, 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 and here. What? can't even see down in there. That's crazy. Alright. I hate screws. There has to be a better way. Can't even get that in there. I have to go get a real screwdriver. I hate screws! This is aggravating. I do not have a Phillips head screwdriver long enough to get those in. Nowhere. Next step, insert the detergent bottles top end first under the ridge of their designated storage compartments. They're in there. And snap the bottom of the bottles into the V-shaped grooves to secure them in place, figure six. And the detergent tube is supposed to go here. Oh, that's hot tech, isn't it? But apparently, this is supposed to snap into here. not feel very secure. Step six, I've already done that. To assemble the spray wand protector, snap the tab into this slot located at the bottom left of the unit, secured in place with one small screw. You know, this is a pain in the you know what? So it could be like hooked on here, out of the way, and they could also give you a loop down here to, to more securely attach this because this is a very heavy power cord. 
and it doesn't have anything on the end to help you connect it to the cord. So that is an improvement that needs to be made as well. I have these two pieces left, and I'm assuming that this is that one from the artist rendering. So we're supposed to be able to put this little tab in and then put a screw back there. Yay, more screws. Hardly wait. You're going on your side. Uh, you're not wanting to pop in there. Uh, that does not pop in. Look. There's nothing to pop in. Look at that. It won't go in. Oh my God. Crazy. I'm assuming the hose holder goes up here. More screws. Oh look, something went on easy. Get the spray wand into the trigger gun and rotate it until the two parts are completely locked. It doesn't really show you which end goes in. So we'll find out, won't we? Is it? Nope. I guess it's this end. Whoever wrote the instructions. You got jokes! Connect the high pressure hose to the trigger gun. They look exactly the same, right? Is that right? Motivated. How does this go on, Roddy Toddy? It's so close to the handle. How do people with big hands do this stuff? I think it's harder to do when I'm trying to film it. Do it with the camera in between me too. Oh, that's pretty heavy. Connect the high pressure hose to the water outlet on the washer. Oh, more fun and games. Right, no, left, no, right, yes. Oh! Finally, we get to the various nozzles. It has five nozzles. One is a zero degree spray, which gives you just a stream, then 15 degrees, a little bit wider, 25 degrees, a little bit wider still. The widest one is 40 degrees, and then you have one for soap. It has a quick connect collar, so they go on quite easily. Just snaps on. And to release it, just pull down and it comes off. Actually shoots off. 
Here's a diagram of the different spray patterns for the different nozzles. This is a really nice feature that the nozzles are supposed to be able to be stored on this. That one does not want to go. It's always something, right? So you can pull the one that you need. They come off easier than they went on. The owner's manual tells you that the first time you plug this in that you may have to hit the reset button a couple of times. It also has a test button. The nozzle hose is quite long. And it's supposed to have a 30 foot uh, power cord. So I'm assuming you want to set this on a sturdy, safe area. Before changing a nozzle, make sure that it's cut off. Make sure that the trigger lock is pulled down. This little cap has to come off. It's showing that the big knob is for the garden end hose and that end goes to the water inlet on the unit and then you'll put your garden hose in there in this part. So this is the off and on switch for the pressure washer off and on. There's also a dial up here for the detergents. Turning it this way is going to give you whatever you put on this side. You can control the amount. Turning it to this side is going to give you whatever you put on that side. So I guess you can put stuff like for pressure washing your vinyl siding on one, doing your car on the other. There's some information on the uh, internet that tells you that you can put bleach in a pressure washer. This one recommends that you not do that. It recommends that you use pressure washer detergent, which I don't know why you would need to if that's all you're ever going to use. And it tells you when you're not working with a detergent, when you're not using the non soap nozzle, put the detergent dial back to the center. I'm going to take this Sun Joe pressure washer on its maiden voyage. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching my video review of this Sun Joe pressure washer. Remember, it's free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Check in the text below, and I'll provide you a link about how you can get your very own Sun Joe pressure washer. In the meantime, cleanliness is next to godliness. Stay away from Satan. Bye.